Hello and welcome to Riverbend Springs. Riverbend Springs. This is uh, one of the maps on the new maps on FS25. Now I did think that I would start on my um, new map one day series, but there's just so much that goes on in these new maps that I've decided to wait until the first modded maps come out to get that series going. In the meantime, I'm going to do a series on Riverbend, Riverbend Springs, Riverbend Springs, and essentially what's what has happened is that we have just bought ourselves a piece of land in Riverbend Springs. We are going to build a farmyard around here. Um, we don't have a lot of money. We've got a bit of debt. I think we've got about $60,000 worth of debt. Let's just go up there and have a look in the finances. Yeah, so we've got $60,000 worth of debt. We have bought a vehicle. We've, well, we sold a vehicle as well. It was a trailer. We've got a couple of chainsaws. We've got one that we don't need really. Um, we built a place for us to stay, which is the the um, the static caravan that we are stay, staying in at the moment. That's a temporary structure that we will eventually get out of. We spend one hundred and twenty-one thousand on the piece of land that we bought. And we took a loan of $60,000 to do all that. This is the vehicle that we bought. We have also got planning permission to build a farmhouse over here. And that will face pretty much onto the river. So a nice little site for that. So we will be building other buildings on the on the land. We've got plenty of space to establish a yard. Essentially, we're going to have to start as contractors. We also have another two sheds that we have permission to build at the moment. So a farm garage. This is a front entrance garage so that the or shed basically so the door will be around about here give us a lot of storage space there and then this will be most probably for our our vehicles it's a three garage door garage stroke storeroom it's, also, it's quite big I think we'll have quite a bit of space in there so those are the projects that we are going to have to, or that we are busy doing. The whole premise of this is that we will play this game until we have established our farmyard. We may, there's nothing to say that we can't put a field in here somewhere along the line, or some animals. So we're pretty flexible on how we're going to do that. But at the moment, all we have is a van, a chainsaw and eight thousand dollars in the bank well it's not really <laughs> it's not really our eight thousand dollars it's probably part of the loan a sixteen thousand dollar loan right so the only way we can really do it is to go and look for some contracts and start working for other people so yeah we've got deadwood now i'm not going to start on deadwood contracts just yet because well, that's quite an easy. We can sell the trees afterwards. We we just don't have the equipment to to transport the trees. Fertilizing contracts. Oh, don't really fancy fertilizing with that type of equipment. Oh, that's not too bad. We got harvesting. We need to get something that's going to give us decent money. So we've got a harvesting contract here for. 
it looking good hoeing reasonably small we've got to chase the money a little bit so there's lots of different varied weeding on farmland 76 that's 11,000 so I'm thinking that maybe we can go and do work for Walter for a little while 13 acres can take us a little while to to weed it but why not let's get started with a weeding contract so we'll accept that well we'll borrow the items basically it's going to cost us 519 out of there so we'll still, we'll still make about 11 grand out of that and we'll borrow that borrow the item so let's get that one done Right, so let's get off over to the shop, which luckily our yard that we've got is pretty central to the shops and the and the warehouses. So with the um, with the con construction sites that we or, or the construction that we do, we will initially, well, most of most of the time we will be purchasing. From the warehouse all the goods that we need to to get for we're doing the job or for building so we'll need planks long planks beams and the warehouse is not too far from here either we're gonna have a look so we've got to go over the train line here and this should bring us into the to the store area so as i said we're pretty Pretty close to here. So let's just park up our van here. Right, so that's a, a fair sized bit of a kit. Fantastic, I haven't really used that before. So let's have a look and see where we've got to go to. Right, we are up here. Where, are, where is our contract field? Down there. So, we've got to go, let's say, along the bottom here. Yeah, so pretty much past the service station, turn left all the way down till we hit field 76. Right, let's get going. We'll put the mini map on. Oh, some nice equipment to work with. So we haven't got a lot of money, we're going to have to initially start doing all these contracts ourselves, I think. Hopefully the field will be pretty easy to weed. We're going to find out that. And but the other thing I wanted to show you is that we have... 11 hours and 15 minutes to, oh, that's not the wrong one. Um, so if we go to the top here, all the way to the top, and we scroll to the active there, we have 11 hours and 13 minutes to complete the contract. So we can't dawdle too much. Let's go past the service station and put on the beacons and off we go. This is the service station here. Were we going left or right here? I know we said left, but let's just make sure. So we want to turn towards the It is the right way, isn't it? Yes, it is. I want to turn towards where the store is, the warehouse is. Where is that? 
Yeah, so I think it's thinking it's this way. Let's check to make sure we're heading the right direction. Yes, we are. So we just head on straight down. I'm going to initially stick with uh, showing you the routes to the different places just to give you a feel for the map as well. I'm sure a lot of you have been playing them already so it's a little way to, to travel down this road. Nice sort of undulations on the road here, do like that. Shouldn't be too far away from the field now. I think it might be this one on the. It's not that one. It's not that one either. It's like any journey you make, it just seems a long way when you're first doing it. It's coming up here now. Field 76, here we go. One more left. Fantastic. Not quite sure how far this, let's just... And we need to unfold it. Oh, it's really wide. I like that. This is going to be done. My feeling is this is going to be done lickety split. What about these gaps in the thing though? Don't quite know how that works. We seem to have some tines, some. Oh, how does that work? A little bit closer this way. Going to have a look and see what happens. Righty. Really not sure it's what's happening in that gapping area. Guessing we're going to find out whether the so we three percent done. The thing is, do we have to come over it again? I don't know. We'll soon find out. Of course, we don't really have enough money to be able to hire any workers at this point in time. We'll get to that. At a later stage. The working with is fantastic, of course. <laughs> okay, to just jump out and have a look and see. So weeds growing. Nothing there. Yeah, so there's nothing there. So it, somehow it is still weeding. I don't know how it's doing that. <laughs> really don't know how it's doing that. We have some sort of spray going out here. Could be. 
see there's some sort of piping that's going out there. Nothing this side, so yeah, not sure how it works, but it's weeding. <laughs> Who am I to complain? Is that some sort of little bolt? I don't know. Must be. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Let me know in the comments if any of you know. Oops. That's the problem with these really wide things is that they're sometimes difficult to keep on track and we seem to be missing the edges here now. It's not too bad. In any case, we'll do the rest of this on a bit of a time lapse and you can see how we struggle along. See you once it's done. So we've just done the first lap, the first headland. There's a little trick that I picked up along the way. Try and keep track of where you've. Let's just get, get in between there. So if you start just off the field, you can see, to see, I don't know if you're able to see it when you're on the ground. Yeah, you can see that we have weeded so the grass has come down a bit. So we know that we need to try and start somewhere around about here. So let's just try and do to maneuver this so that we've got some overlap but not too much. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I don't want to go too far into the field. Before we get the rakes down. It looks like about it, so let's just push that out a little bit there. There we go. So I'm thinking that's about where we should start, and we will do some up and downs now. All right, we'll get back onto the time lapse and get back to you once it's done. Right, you're back with me and we're at 90% complete on the field. But I think we must have missed quite a bit of... quite a few spots, because we... I can't see this getting to 100% completed contract by the time we hit the end of this pass. By my calculations, we should be just, just about have covered everything. Um, and there was that little kink in the... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll get on. We'll get on to the bottom here, and we'll, uh, then we'll call up some maps and have a look and see. At Ninety-four. It's probably around the edges. It's very difficult to see where where you finished. I did think I had it kind of worked out. Why? Um, by going a little bit into the grass area, but didn't really work. We're still about 4% short by the looks of thing. I'm going to try and go around the edges and see if that will help. It's a little bit difficult, this, working out what's happened here. I wonder if it's to do with this, these gaps in this weeder. Let's just see what happens. 
Do we start going up? A notch or so. Doesn't really look like it. Nothing seems to be happening in terms of... So I don't know where we've missed. Hmm. It's a bit of a dilemma, isn't it? I've got a feeling it's going to be at the top here somewhere. It really would be handy if there was some sort of me mechanism to be able to and it must be quite a quite a bit of space that hasn't been weeded. Fantastically frustrating. to weed across a little bit and see what happens. Then we'll go down the bottom area, the bottom of the field. That hasn't really changed anything. Oops, another signpost taken out. It's a bit disappointing because in FS22 you could go into the weeding map and it would show you where you've weeded or where there's spots missing. Right now there's no ways that I can tell whether I've missed anything. It's only shown 96%. We're not moving anything anywhere. don't quite understand it because it, it, there must be a, a whack of area. I wonder if it's got something to do with the actual tines that are missing on this. It's 
See, over here it does show it's been weeded. It doesn't say needs weeding. walk straight across the field and see if come up to anywhere where it says needs weeding. Ah, weeds grey. Weeds growing, weeds growing. I think we've found the strip. Let's see where we have to go. Let's find a reference point. So if we start, so we did start, we must have just gone off track somewhere. So if we start with this tree behind us we should be able to be okay all right let's go that's why i hate weeding contracts and some fertilizing contracts where, where it's at a stage where you can't quite see what's happening so we'll pick that up. That's the right bush, and not the one. I think it was this one. Hey, see, I'm getting impatient now. I'm not reversing properly. Trying to hurry. You don't really need to be too particular down here because I'm, I know that that is weeded. So let's put that down and see if we head up here if we can get the job done there we go 97 we moving it are we going to move it enough this is the question Getting a two percent. Hold your breath, hold your breath. Come on, baby. Ninety nine. Come on, baby. One percent to find. Come on, come on. Here we go. Are we going to? Is it going to complete? Come on. Come on, come on. Don't seem to be moving it. Looks like we've got a percent to find somewhere. if it's right at the edge of this field 
a roadside. Oh dear me. So close yet so far. Here we go, we've finished it. We've found the last little bit. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, what a palaver. What a palaver. Let's fold it. And we'll head on back up to the the store and we'll see you once we get there and we can get our money well here we are back at the store and we're going to take on another quick contract we'll do a little bailing contract they go relatively quickly um, it's just basically bailing some straw and uh, that's it nice and easy nothing difficult about it so we've taken that on we're going to just jump into the equipment and then head on down to field 88 I think it is 88 or 86 there it is down at the bottom there field 88 with a ring around it fairly easy to get there little bit of a distance to go but we've got a nice big case on the front of the square baler we'll just nip on down there and uh, get the job done let's just bring in some more money that'll probably be the last job for this month We are starting to. Well, we were just at three thirty, and this will take a little bit of time to do. Although it's an easy job, um, and also we're expecting a bit of rain, so I don't mind bailing in the rail in the rain. But we don't want to be harvesting. Well, there's quite quite a few things I don't mind doing in the rain. In any case, we'll see you once we get down there. just about at field 88 relatively uneventful trip down what I'll do is I'll just get this started and then we will do a jump cut till the end of the of the contract I'm aware that the contract may the actual nitty-gritty of doing the contracts may Come a little bit boring over time so we'll show you the start and the end and then anything that is unusual that happens in the contract then I'll I'll, I'll put that in as well like my inability to think about using GPS on the last contract just thinking about it afterwards I mean, we should have just put GPS on in the first place I knew it was going to be difficult in any case we're just about finished and as you can see it is pelting it down 
I'm not quite sure whether it's rain or what that looks a bit white certainly not snow so I'm not quite sure if it's just heavy rain you can certainly see on the fields that the fields are looking wet so that's nice well that's the contract done so you can see in these contracts there's not much leeway for mistakes <laughs> so we've pretty much picked up every scrap of hay uh, of straw should I say that is um, on the field and we've got this little strip left that's all so that's also kind of what well it's not really what made the other the other one difficult the other one difficult was just me being not not right not thinking right so let's get our money in it's another nine thousand so we're looking reasonably good money wise after at the end of today and we're back at the store we've returned everything so let's head on back to our yard yeah this is definitely hail because you can see it's starting to settle on the ground it's fantastic we definitely well i definitely can't remember hail in uh, uh, fs22 as the train goes by look at it just settling on the ground for a little while fantastic you can actually see it bouncing off the ground love it love it it's got to be a bit sore while I'm standing outside having a look at it you know, all the hay pelting down on my delicate skull <laughs> yeah, in any case let's get back home let's so just over here and see what the hail is doing to our farmyard yeah, you can see it's settling all over the place even on the dirt oh look at the ground deformation on the wet on the wet ground definitely looks a bit deeper than it was when we when we left there was some def deformation when we left but not much that is much clearer fantastic in any case that's where we're going to end this episode this first episode do hope you've enjoyed it if you have please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one Cheerio!